the back room and uh, ended up falling over. Which was very entertaining. Yeah. No. Yeah. Is that what you were doing? Okay. Yes. Uh, did it get as far as batting at once? Okay. And how was how was the librarian acting? How was the librarian acting? Me. Okay. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> okay, I do Racist. not see where my character model is on uh, roll twenty. Shut the fuck up, R two R two D two. What about R two D nine? R69. I'm gonna fucking herp y'all. Hey. Herpes? Sorry, what was that? At least one of the people here I can physically hurt. I wonder who that no. is. You can hurt more if you're not a coward. Yeah, I mean, like, like, isn't that like the exact reason guns exist for when you're not close enough to someone to hurt them? Yes, I'm going to have a weapon that can shoot several thousand miles across the globe to strike someone. I mean, aren't you in America? With pinpoint accuracy. Aren't you in America? I'm in Texas. Yeah, I rest my case. I rest my case. Yeah, sure. I'm going to go down to my local hardware store, purchase the biggest rail gun with the highest caliber projectile now available and a Walmart. targeting computer. Hey, yo, a certain magical railgun? Too neat. Anywho. No, no, it's a railgun <laughs> that just shoots Thomas the Tank Engine toys. God damn it. Yeah. Only the blue ones, though, because then it matches your aesthetic. Anyway, um, what voice did I give the librarian? Anyway, um, my piece, do, where would my piece on the board be in Roll20? Is it on a different map? Uh, right, I believe you. How do you good. get it out of the character sheet? Now? How do you get. Uh... Got it. Here we go. What the? I'm gonna quickly uh, name play. Yeah, I got Is... Is that a slime girl? No, it's a fox man. Squint. I just see a lot of orange. That's okay. It is is orange blob and it is a disaster. It's lovely. Oh Frankly lord. Beautiful. <laughs> I love it so much. Printing in. Hey, I got over my food poisoning, guys. What's up? Hey. We gotta figure out how to incorporate her. Yeah. Huh. So, him. Yeah, yeah because so I just see a blue and white splotch over the name at this point. You are a splotch. Your mum's a what? Anyway, so don't um, go there. All right. Have we got around? Uh, so what have you learned from this library? I was library? about to. There I was about to ask him a question before we ended the last session. And what was your question? Fuck! Oh, what was it? <laughs> wow! It's been what write three? It down. Right. Oh, uh, fox daddy. Fox daddy. Ah. Okay, let's oh, see. What was I going to ask? That one's so cute. Uh, he's a little lad who likes berries and cream. 
Oh, I was about to ask him for a book on... It looks like if Tintin was a fucking furry. Sorry. I was about to ask him if he had a book on gems and magical properties of them. Like an encyclopedia for gems. Ah, I remember this. And, um... Uh... He said um, that the library was in too much of a disarray at the moment, so you'd have to come back sort of later once he'd sorted everything out. Right. Yes, I remember that, but uh, I think you would give it... Do you know where you're going next? I forgot what the place looks like. Damn. There's, there's a map. Okay. He does a map. Where's the map? Yeah, I have a map. I don't know if it's the map. Oh yeah, since I, DMs, I, I, didn't I can't, I can't oh, read maps. Be right back. And Roz is going to use it as toilet paper. <laughs> Which is going to make sorting out the rest of this quest very difficult, I imagine. It's going to make it very shitty. <laughs> do I want to do this campaign today? Do I want... Yes, yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> right, anyway. So. Okay. So. Getting back on track. So Rosa has an map from Librarian. Uh, And on that map, yeah, and that map might almost mean something. Does um, Rosa want to try reading it again, or are you quite happy just to carry on? I'll read it again. Cool. Um, I forgot what you needed to roll. Roll me investigation. Roll me investigation. Investigation. I just realized I've got to try and draw again. That's four. Okay. There, there's some pretty colors on the paper. <laughs> kind of just looks like paper, though. Do you want to share it with anyone, or are you quite happy keeping the colored paper for your butt later? I'm going to I'm gonna fold it and put it in my back pocket. I mean, it's okay at the moment. But... Okay. Well, you're not know, folding it and putting it in the pocket's a vast improvement from what we were thinking was going to happen. Hey, I'm saving it for later. Oh, okay. I'm going to save it like a fine wine. Yeah. It's going up your ass. And, and can I try to go in the room again? You want to attempt to go in the room again? Yeah. Roll me Slater fucking hand. Other pen, where did I put that? Okay, are you sure you want me to roll it? Uh huh. 15. Okay. Congratulations, you have managed to pick the lock. And as you open the door, you see not a great deal. Like, the main thing of note is um, over here. Uh, there is um, a little stone plinth with uh, a, a book f uh, open on it. And it's sort of glowing sort of very gently. Um, you can't quite see what the book's about, but it looks vaguely interesting. I'm going to go towards the book. Okay. Um, as, you go, as you walk towards the book, um, some of the ma uh, sort of magic glowies start to glow harder, and you get the smell of ozone. The sort of smell that tends to happen before a thunderstorm. That's what that smell is called? Yeah, it's, it's, it's well, the smell of ozone. Oh. Nice. Weird. It, it, it smells weird over here. Are you going to try I, and keep I'm... going towards it? Yes. Okay. Um, as you walk towards it, there is a crack of lightning that um, hits just in front of you on the floor. 
kind of like a warning shot more than anything else seems to be. Mm. You get the distinct impression, don't go near the glowing book. Mm. Hey, Roz. <laughs> hey, uh, can I still Roz for a second? Oh, what, like in a separate VC? Yeah, I need to yeah. ask them something. Yeah, for sure. Roz, move up to the OOC real quick. Ah. Rare indeed. Oh, boy. I mean... Mm. Damn, can't believe Roz is dead. F in chat. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, dear. The, fu the fucking robot mummy and the succubus just fucking died. Now it's just mum and the problem child. Okay, mom, I'm gonna take dirt? you to school. You see me playing in the dirt outside? <laughs> that toys, you said. Yeah. Like the little bit of feather on a string. Reasonable. Ooh. Right, I hope Chrome's doing okay, because he just seems stressed out a lot lately, you know? Mm. Hopefully he's okay. Very, I mean, the librarian sort of looks around at what you're doing and goes, Oh, very much appreciated. I've forgotten what voice he had. Yeah, and, he, and Yako is, uh, Yako is apparently just passed that outside or something. Uh, no, he's inspecting worms. The last, last, last. last. At least not yet. All right, Cherry, what were you trying to say? Um, he's he's looking at the worms and the ant hill, ant hills. In the gravel. Yes. Yes. Okay. It's Fair not enough. very successful because you know it's gravel, but he's doing his best. I mean, what? Who could ask for more? Frankly. <laughs> Whenever you're uh, ready to have him come inside, uh, plot wise, Wait. just let me know. Yeah. Now. All right. Uh, can I uh kick in the door? Uh, the door's open. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't kick open the door, and I enter. You want to just kick the door on, like <laughs> the side or something? You know, just I was thinking like a dramatic uh Disney main character style, but that's okay. That's okay. My light. That's class. Okay, right. so, so so as you walk in, the librarian sort of um sort of excuses himself and walks up near to the counter. Ah, oh, hello, sir. What what can I do for you today? I'm 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 looking for uh, oh, books on uh on uh edible uh plant life and uh, wildlife. What is and isn't edible? You got anything on that? Ed um hmm. I'm afraid I do, but I'm I don't know what the fuck Saxon is. I do, but I'm afraid I don't know where any of it is right now. In case you couldn't tell, my library is in rather bad disarray. What happened? Sure. Roll me perception. Also, hang on a second. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to very quickly check the VOD to see if I can remember what the fuck this goddamn guy sounds like. Honestly, you'd be fun here. Honestly, Gumpy, it would be funnier if, like, uh, it was just a, a wildly different voice every single time and nobody questioned it. Okay, I've now remembered what he sounds like. 
Wow, my voices are terrible. Sorry, I'm still down. You're on a seven. Um, I'm very so- uh, Yeah, so you don't see anything about um plant life or edibleness or just general anything. Like they just look like books, vaguely, maybe. Flora and Fauna. So, uh, librarian, uh, why why does your library look like a uh, storm of adventurers blew in and knocked everything off the shelves looking for extra gold hidden behind the books? That's a very specific <laughs> analogy. <laughs> why, thank you. Please thank you. Don't. I was referencing um, a, a story I once heard of a little green guy who likes to, you know, smash people's pots in search for gems. I thought it'd be similar to that, seeing as I how I believe I've heard flattered. of that tale, actually. Um, yeah. I'll try and find that book for you along with the herbology book, I suppose? Um, once I've cleaned up this mess, um, yeah, it's in rather disarray. Um, evidently, um, I was not in my own mind, and it did rather cause an inconvenience for me. This was you, huh? I, mm, it's, uh, that's currently under investigation. Well, isn't it kind of corrupt to investigate yourself? No, no, I'm not. <laughs> like, shouldn't be. a third party do that? <laughs> He, he sort of just sighs and sort of pinches the bridge of his nose. It would be, yes. But thankfully, I have this um, group investigating it for me. He says, gesturing to um, Gate, Doriel, and looking around to try and find Zaraka, but doesn't notice them in the library. Well, would you mind if I uh, joined in on investigating? Uh, I, I definitely, I, I absolutely have to find that book. You so say being I... upside down. <laughs> yeah, well, of course I'm upside down. What are you take me for? I am a creature of class. I like to imagine you just sort of gliding along the floor, like your ears just walking instead of your legs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the mark of a true chat. <laughs> Oh, did you hear lowly people? I just said, oh, these adventurers. I, I didn't. I didn't. Ah. Uh, right, right. Okay. Sometimes you're not very what. Wait is... Wait is high. Ah, so an amateur kleptomaniac. Or something of that. Yeah. I hope that these two aren't going to take too long talking, otherwise this is going to be a problem. Um, I'm, I'm going to start looking on this shelf and I'm putting books uh, in alphabetical order as I look. Sure, both of you roll perception. Oh, perception. Okay. Uh, Did I stutter? Yeah, one second. I'm just trying to remember how to do that. Ah, Doriel. Okay, what books are you trying to find? Are you trying to find the one for Yakko? Or... Cool. Cool. Um... Uh, you find sort of a uh, sort of fairly stylized, um, sort of Betty Crocker style book, um, uh, 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 called called Plants You Can Soak in Butter. Oh hell yeah!
Wait, no, sorry, I got that okay. wrong. It's not Betty Crocker, Julia Childs. That's what I meant. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm rolling just a, a. So how do I roll specifically for perception, or do I just roll a d20? Roll a d20, and then we'll figure it out. Okay. Oh. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Hello, you have returned. Yeah. Yes, I'm going to be going away to take care of some real life issues for a few minutes. It's okay. going to take about. It's going to take about twenty minutes. <laughs> I just gotta go up the road and buy a um, buy something that's needed right now. Yeah, sure, sure. That's fine. That's fine. Um, just yeah, the, like, can I just would it be easier to do this tomorrow? Probably like, sorry not. Sorry that we're constantly delaying. That's why I'm asking. Probably not. Yeah. Okay, go sort yourself out then, and I'll see you when you get back. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> what happened? Uh, my perception check was a two plus my uh plus four modifier. I I rolled a six. I, well, no, I got a six perception. So okay. uh, I guess I definitely didn't find the book. Um, I don't know, DM. Did I did I find anything? Um, you've definitely seen books, and the words might even mean something. <laughs> uh. uh you see the book that Doriel's holding, and it's got green stuff on it, so it might be plant stuff. Oh boy. Oh boy. A book. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I've been looking for one of those. <laughs> the best book of all time. Also, Rosa, just to get you up to speed quickly, um, we've literally just spent like, the entirety of your conversation with... Uh, with the uh, other with uh, the 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 gate, uh, trying to find a book about what plants are edible and what plants aren't, and Doriel, through doing pretty well with her perception checks, has found a Julia Child's book, "Vegetables You Can Soak in Butter." Butter, butter. Yeah. Who doesn't like butter? Oh, I should probably add this to my inventory on my sheet. Oh my god, I actually have to try and find text for this. Oh, fuck. Um, well, since... Hmm. Uh, fuck. I will just say a lot. Like, you're picking up the books. So you, you're doing a pretty good job of clearing up that little area, but the shelves do look quite like obviously fucked like it's gonna need at least a day or so to actually sort it properly I mean I mean you're doing your best at getting like the bottom two shelves Okay, hang, hang on. I'm, I'm I'm looking up Julia Child's vegetarian recipes, but they all seem to be. How much chocolate can we throw in in this instead of anything else? Mm. Oh, sorry, no, no, no. There is one savory potato dauphinois gratin. I think it's French, so I completely butchered that pronunciation. It is apparently a bunch of potato. Um. Some garlic, butter, salt, pepper, some grated Gruyere cheese. I know it's meant to be Gruyere, but I'm getting it wrong on purpose now. Cream, and then thyme. Alright, so in a panic, I I'm accidentally closed my sheet. Alright, let's find it again. <laughs> in, in, in a panic, you accidentally what? Closed my character sheet that I had just made. Right. That I saved it. See, I heard clapped your cheek as in like you just gobsmacked or something. <laughs> And I just, <laughs> <laughs> you know, as we're done. Oh, damn, Cherry, I wasn't expecting anyone to be clapping your cheeks in VC. That's pretty good. Oh, I. That's <laughs> just how we do, you know? Oh, uh, it was so wood. Anyway. <laughs> nice. 
Uh, sorry, quick thing. While you two are doing that, um, oh, thank God I found it. Uh, Rosa, huh? what are you doing? You just what had a warning roll? zap. Yeah, what are our role to see if the book is even safe or not? You just had lightning strike your fucking feet as you tried to get near. I'm going you, to assume you, you got the message. You forget my intelligence is a negative one and my wisdom is a negative one. Roll me wisdom. All right, you just about managed to piece together the lightning is bad. And you don't want it to touch you. Okay, if that's the case, I am going to try to go through this door. Um, I'm leaving the book alone. Okay. Uh, as you approach the door, the yellow um, glyphs near the book starts glowing again. I just look at the book and said, you're a bitch, aren't you? Uh, the, the the book almost the book almost hums in agreement. Well, she's just gonna walk this way towards the door, and right before leaving, she's gonna throw a dart at the book and then leave out the door. Bro, what's at the book? A dart. A, a dart. throwing dart. Okay. Uh, roll me. Um, sleight of hands. Uh, the dart sort of flies vaguely towards the book. It hits part of the stone plinth. Uh, you can you just sort of feel the book silently judging you as you exit. <laughs> yeah, I just walk over here. And, and I uh, walk to them and said, Hey, um, if you try to find the bathroom, there's there's an angry piece of paper that wants to attack you. Uh, the librarian the library sort of leans around Doriel and gives you a look. What were you doing in my back rooms? I was trying to find the bathroom. We don't have a bathroom here. See, how do you take a shit? <laughs> the place next door. What kind of, what kind of establishment also, do you have here that doesn't have I... a bathroom? I have a bathroom. It's not available for you. Damn. What did you find, anyway? Where did you get... Did you find the book? I found a glowing book that doesn't like me, so I just, I just you know, like, gave it the middle finger, pretty much. Would it be safe to say, then, that you didn't damage the book? Um, I don't know. I left the room before I could see if it hit or not. Before it hit? For what hit? I told you I flip it my middle finger. <laughs> well, your middle finger seemed attached, so what did you throw at it? Whatever was attached to my middle finger. Darts. Uh, Clavar sort of just quickly um walks around and has a quick peek in. And you hear like a little sigh of relief as... um. He sees the dart sort of um, clattering down the little stone steps leading up to the book. Oh, thank goodness for that. Right, I will... Oh, very much appreciated, uh, my little dwarven friend. So, what's with the book? Why, why is the book a bitch? I'm semi-tall. I can help you put some of those away. Here, pass them over here. To answer your question, um, lady, um, the book is a quote-unquote bitch because it is not meant to be touched. Well, if it doesn't like to be touched, how do we know if it's a good picture book or a crappy picture book? You think it's my word in it? for it? Take my word for it, it is quite an exciting read. 
Then why won't it let me get near it? It's temperamental. Does it have recipes in it? No, 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 no. (laughs) Nothing so pedestrian. Excuse me? I'm, I, I, I attempt to jump on the table. Sir, sir. Sir, you have just entered and you are already becoming an inconvenience. Do I have to ask you to leave? <laughs> Cooking is not pedestrian. How dare you? It's the only thing I'm good at. How dare you? <laughs> oh, right. I understand. Right. No, 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 no. Right. Hang on. There's been a... I didn't... The book contains things that are very, very not recipes. It is not a cookbook. It is not a (laughs) how-to guide or anything. It is something else. There's a reason it's not on the shelves. I I am sitting in your chair now. (laughs) I will accept this if it will calm you down. For now. For now. Yeah, okay. See, just a child. (laughs) Can I see if the librarian has a random um, glass of liquid, like like water or whatever, or coffee? What kind of establishment do you think we are that we would leave water so near these books? I don't know. They they have like a uh, like like the ocean. Yes, there's a tavern. There's a tavern literally down the road. I suspect. How many of you have drank before coming here? Um, I haven't had anything. I was going to go back there and put it on that book, like, hey, I got your water. So this is how you are sober. Wait, are you offering us liquor? Because I'll take you up on it. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 not, not here, not here. No, no, not no, here. Not... So you do have some you're going to offer us. I'm oh, not risking. Yeah. I'm not risking my hoard of literature. Thank you. Hey, uh, hey I see. I see a barrel. Maybe it's in the barrel. The barrel contains parchment. Can we drink parchment? Look, I've told you where you need to go. The lantern, I got it from um, from a shop down the road. Um, hologram wizard thing. I don't know the details. Um, maybe you should go investigate that and leave me to clear up a little bit. Hey, don't don't put this on us. You're the one that made this mess in here. We came in like this. No, no, you did not create the mess. You are only worsening the mess. That's my job. Your services are no longer required. He says, sort of looking down his nose at you. It's a very long nose. Because it's a dragonborn, so he's got like the sort of snout thing. Then I'll take my payment and go. I'm going to pick up the cat and try to walk out. The cat swats at you. Roll me a strength check. Okay, the cat claws at you, but it doesn't seem to have dealt. It doesn't seem to have hurt you, but it does wriggle out of your grip, and it sort of jumps up onto the little counter and sort of looks at you curtly. And even the payment doesn't want me. I don't know how to react to any of this. Uh... <laughs> Hang on, so you've entered a random library. Harass the magic book, harass the cat, harass the librarian. And you've also chaotic... the lantern, basically. I am chaotic evil. This explains a great deal. Is there anything anyone else would like to do while Rose is doing all of um, this? All of my Tom Fruckery? Yes, the tavern. The tavern sounds like an excellent plan. Can I attempt to sneak into your room with the forbidden book? 
I'm, I'm not asking you, I'm asking the DM. Uh, I would say, roll me stealth. Okay. Uh, one D20. Oh, one and what's your modifier for stealth? I'll check in a second. I gotta answer this. Yeah, sure, sure. Yep. <laughs> oh, nice. Sorry about that. Camp. I had my brother uh, on the phone. Anyway. So okay, sorry. What... No. <laughs> okay, so. Um, what's my modifier? I am quickly checking, and this was for stealth. Correct. Uh, stealth is plus five. Okay, so um, the librarian, so Clerval is very much um, sort of focusing on um, Zaraka, trying to make sure that they don't break anything. So he's kind of not really got any attention on you. <laughs> All right. Uh, I Yako, don't know. Yako, as you approach the book, um, you, the smell of ozone becomes very pungent, and a and lightning strikes just where your foot was about to land. I'm back. Welcome Hello. Back. What am I? Everything. All right. I'm going to. Uh... I'm going to sweet talk this book because it's got a feisty personality. Mm. Okay. Okay. What do I well, roll for that? No, no, no. I, I want to hear what you, what you plan to do to try and sweet talk it. I want to hear it. All right. <clears throat> oh, dear. God, you've got quite the shocking personality. You don't mind me coming by just to, you know thumb through those gorgeous gilded pages, do you, Sweet Cheeks? Okay. Roll me sed- uh, actually, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Persuasion? <laughs> no, hang, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, <laughs> hang on. Roll me performance. Performance! <laughs> <laughs> All right, wait, let me check what my modifier is. Uh, my performance <laughs> modifier is plus five. Okay, so that's be 13. 13. Okay, so I got 13 performance. As you walk up to the plinth, you don't immediately get fucking zapped. But um, okay. you, do, you do sort of feel like the air sort of buzzing as you reach your hand out towards the book. Oh, I feel we got an electric connection going on. You know, I think the sparks are gonna fly here. Let me just take a quick perusal, all right? <laughs> I I attempt to reach my hand down to turn the pages of the book, but I pause to ask for permission. Hmm. Roll persuasion. Oh, right. Okay, and for persuasion, I've got a plus three persuasion. For twelve. Um, as like, as your finger touches the page, you get sort of like a little shock, kind of like a static electricity. Okay. Okay, so it's like you know, it went from like actual lightning striking at my feet to a little bit of a shock. So I'm gonna take that as a win. All right. I'm. Now I'm I'm gently flipping through the pages now. All right, what would I find? What you would um question? What languages does Yako know? Let's check what the random generator said. Um, mm. common and draconic. Common and draconic. Okay, right. So the page. So the book is written in a jumble of several languages. You can understand the draconic bits, and you can understand the common bits. 
Uh, the the context is a little bit vague, but it seems to be sort of sort of heavily ritualistic, sort of very occult, um, as if as if he's trying to summon something. All right. Well, the book seems to be alive, and it seems to be able to respond to me. So I'm thinking this book is sentient. That stands to reason that I can ask this book questions. All right. Book, I know you can hear me. I know we've got this thing going on, you know. Maybe you're a little apprehensive. It's the first date, okay? Things are always a bit, you know, jumbled. But I think I want to learn a little bit more about you. Yes, you know about me. I'm orange. Um... While book. you're talking, the book, <laughs> uh, the, the, the book sort of like closes enough for you to see the front cover, and and the front cover it's um, uh, it's sort of you know your your carbon or garden pentagram in the circle bit upside down and all that lot with some extra lines squiggled in. It makes an amount of sense, and on the top of it it says um, occultism and you. A beginner's book. My goodness, yeah. what stunning leather binding you have. Do you know any recipes? <laughs> Do you know any recipes? Did you just ask it? Um, at this point, we... I'm just at this point, you guys can interject, interrupt, run and do whatever. Or you, we can keep uh watching my dialogue. I'm I'm okay with anything. Roll persuasion. Roll persuasion. Plus three. Sixteen. Okay, um... Right. Hang on, just thinking, how would this book communicate? Uh, Through zips, hey, uh, maybe? Real quick, you can actually say roll 1d20 plus three for your modifier, and it will automatically put that in. Oh, thank you. Mm. Mm. Ooh, okay. Right, so, um, so, um, you ask if it has any recipes, um, it turns to the first page, which is sort of like a book of contents, and as you sort of skim it, none of them say recipe. Well, this won't do. Every good book should have at least one recipe in it. Here, I'll give you one of mine, okay? And as a, as, as a, as you as say a thank that, you for a wonderful time. Up. As you say that, the book slams shut, and you just sort of hear sort of a roll of thunder as if lightning is about to come out of it. Oh, okay. Can I hear this? Yes. <laughs> uh, I look around. Uh, uh, yeah, as the thunder comes in, the librarian sort of bursts in. No, no, stop touching that! I'm going to jump... Trying to drag you away. <laughs> I'm going to jump over the counter and run in there as well. Having a lovely date. Excuse you. Where's your character? <laughs> I'm standing between... Oh, there you are. You're hiding. <laughs> hey, hang on, hang on. Aren't you like eight foot tall or something? How the fuck are you hiding behind Doriel? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Here, I'll just. Can I? Yeah. All right. The hell was all that noise? So, gay. Okay, as you come in, you see. Yeah, yeah. You see the librarian sort of trying to drag um a a little fox child, uh, well, fox man away <laughs> from the book. As it sort of starts striking, sort of, as lightning sort of arcs near the ground around it, the book is angry. What are you doing in here? I was having a lovely date. Excuse you. Date. Date. All sentient creatures should be entitled to at least one nice date in their lives. This book is very antisocial. How long have you been keeping that poor creature locked up in here? Have you even ever thought to offer it a nice shot of liquor? Like, it can't drink it, but it probably would appreciate it. 
I think you should leave. <laughs> I'm gonna look at the library. What's he says the deal so with the book. He says so sort of gently ushering you sort of out of the room. So sort of, he tries to push it he, he tries to sort of, you know. He's not touching you, but it's just sort of ushering, you know, like hey, come on, get out, get out. I'm gonna stand my ground and look down at the Is he Cobol? What species is he? Dragonborn. Okay, the, the little dragonborn. What is the deal with the book? While they're doing that, can I look for a book? Uh, sure. Hang on a minute. So, gate, okay, roll me intimidation, I guess. Alright. Intimidation. Imagine because you're looming over and everything. And Rosa, Tim roll me investigation. Investigation. Okay, right. Uh, what were you looking for, Rosa? What sort of book? I want to look for a book. Um, you find a book. About, Congratulations. About burning towns and torture. A very eccentric um, thing to be looking for, to be sure. It's but there are, uh, there's a couple of books strewn about. One of them sort of, um, sort of has some has some illustrations of cities ablaze and people on horseback riding around. So it looks, okay. it looks like a history book. Okay, while the librarian is being distracted, I'm going to take the ball. You're going to take the book? Yes. Okay, you now have a history book. I'll figure out the details later. Anyway, gate. So you rolled... Oh, shit, okay. Uh, Dragonborn looks up at you. So a very distinct ooh, swallow. And just sort of sighs in frustration. This book is not your concern. It is my book. The rest of them, they are public. Anyone can read those. Am I not allowed my own privacy? Her, our privacy, that's, that's, that's a bathroom, right? Yeah, we gotta go to that shop and interrogate him. Come on, let's go, let's go. Let's go to the shop. Get your response. Are you Join you guys. Away? I have nowhere else to be at the moment. And you guys seem like a, a fun ragtag group of people. Hang on, hang on. Right, I've got a, I can um, cook. Hang on. Everyone should done for a sec. Um, Chrome, what were you... Sorry, Gay, what were you trying to say? Oh, no, I just stare down at him. He's right. He does have the right for privacy. I'm just going to leave it be for right now, and I take my leave. Okay. Without saying a word, just aggravated tail swings. Fair enough. Librarian sort of sighs in relief and slams the door shut. Anyway, sorry, what were the rest of you saying? Apologies. Say we go to the shop and Okay, Yaka, can someone what were you Yaka, what can were you someone fill me in because Oh sorry. Sorry. Yeah, Yaka, Yaka what we what were you saying to try and convince them to let you join the group? Yeah, no, I just uh I, I just shouted, hey guys, wait for me. You seem like an interesting group of people. I can cook if you need someone to cook. This would be interesting. Ah, uh, in competition. Also, can one of y'all... Can one of y'all fill me in? I kind of zoned out there for a moment. Well, we pretty much woke up this morning and decided to come here in the library. Um, yeah, and now the midget wants to go back. I look right. behind me. Yeah. I look behind me and 
point of thumb to them. This little thing. You thumbed it. You thumbed the fox. Looks back. My statement still stands. Compared to this nine foot tall blue thing, you are tiny. <laughs> So, where are you off to next, I guess? Like, as you leave the um, library, sort of, uh, the librarian sort of, sort of is following you very closely out, and as soon as you're all clear of the door frame, he slams the door shut, and you can hear the sound of a latch going across. What time is it? It's like 12 in the afternoon. It is not closing time. He has decided it's closing time. Hmm. And he, just, he sort of hears some profanity. Well, well, you think they're profanities in Draconic. Um, I I would know this. Yakko and Gates sort of hears a lot of obscenities. Uh, Doril and Zaraka, it just sounds vaguely angry. Angry, angry, angry. Angry. Damn, he's having a party with that book. I mean, hey. That's sometimes you gotta be the life of the party to have some fun. Yeah, but we just left from there to get over here. Why would we go back? I'd say we go it, investigate that shop. Yeah, either the shop or another place in town, because I think there's more than just three places. Well, yeah, so it's purple with crystals, but we can see if other people had the same weird scenario. Uh, like maybe the sure. armory or something. Yeah, I'd say we go to the armory place and check that place out in this uh, crystal shop. Should be close to it because it's in the, um, you know, the shop district. Well, yeah. Also, but... is this the river? Uh, yeah. Please tell me it's not that brown. No, no. Okay. It 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 is. <laughs> Yeah, it it might be the you know the shop of the crystals, but still, we need more information about all the people that's being affected, so we can actually get some hard evidence, right? And plus, I want, I want I want I want to bash some heads in. So let's go to the armory. Hmm. So. If you have a lower intelligence, that means that you will not be affected. I'm good. Hey, Corcoran. Let's not talk about the rings. Rings? Because I know we're, because we all know where one of them are. <laughs> I face palms. Actually, no, I'm rubbing the bridge of my eyebrow. Well, where my eyebrows would be on my visor. Why? I look towards you. What do you mean? We don't talk about them. We know where one of them is. I don't know where one of them is. I'm new to this group. Please give me the juicy detail. Yakko. You'll, Yakko. You'll find out if you go into a, to a building. Yakko, as you look down at your hand, you see a wooden ring is materialized on your ring finger. Yo, hey, yo, I'm not ready for commitment yet. Who did I even marry? <laughs> I'm just gonna why I suppose the directions mean... are necessary <laughs> at this point 
right. Well, seeing as uh, I accidentally married someone, um, I'm Yako. <laughs> so that means that you married the entire group. Okay, got it. <laughs> Let, let's go polygamy. I mean, hey, I'm 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 down for anything. Down for anything. Face palm again. So I tell you, go to the armory. This is exactly as horny as it was last time, and I'm here for it. I'm sorry. I'm trying. I swear. I'm. I'm going to need a bucket. Wait. Wait until. Wait until Yako finds out where the <laughs> ring is. No, I already dated the book. Okay, I got one date per session allowed. <laughs> okay, well, I don't know about y'all. I'm going to go to the armory. As I'm walking there, I'm just going to introduce myself as Gates Smalls. Awesome. An ironic name. Yeah, Smalls. So you go into off the two of you. So you go into the blacksmith. Yes. We're going okay. to this blacksmith. Is it this one that I've that I've forgotten that I haven't actually put Yako's character on most of these maps because when I was doing that. Cherry hadn't woken up yet, or whatever it was. I was busy watching toddlers. Ugh, dis ew, ew. Oh, I Disgusting. Know. Yeah, all right. There we go. Okay. All right, as you approach um, uh, the blacksmith, uh, you notice, oh, sorry, the blacksmithy, uh, you notice that there's a big sort of courtyard area with um with, with like a big furnace over here, sort of um with sort of iron smelting in there. There's a pump. There's an anvil. Uh, there's bits of bobs around it. And manning the forge is uh this very squatly built um dwarf with with a big bronze beard and sort of slightly darker bronze skin. I look towards the. I look towards this dwarf and look at her, back at the dwarf, back at her. And he They're about the same height. And I look at him. Is that your father? <laughs> I give a toothy smile. Wait, who has a picture with her family all the time? Why are you three bickering? Why are you three bickering? Yako, what are you doing over there? I'm playing with the billows. <laughs> Just playing with the bellows. Yeah. Okay. Okay, as you as you start playing with the bellows and like the forge sort of starts huffing and puffing a little bit, uh, the door sort of um wakes up from his trance of hitting bits of metal, sort of glances over at you, and then sort of stomps over, stomps over hey, you get... No, hang on. <laughs> hey, you get, right. get off them there bellows, you. <laughs> it's just shooing you away. Am I going to have to get a leash for you? Like a child harness? Yes. <laughs> what in the hoot nanny you doing touching my tools? Go on, get... But it's not even doing anything. Come on, it's like a big accordion. Come on, have a heart, sir. I have say, yeah. Fine. I walk. I. Ooh, well, what's I'm this? gonna walk. <laughs> I'm gonna walk up to you and pick you up. All right, I accept. <laughs> Throw you on my shoulder and I walk over here. Is this one yours? Sounds like you need a better choice of friends, ma'am. <laughs> well, as long as he don't touch any more of my tools, I'm good. I'm not laying this one down until we leave. And that's much appreciated. 
you mean big for your side, for our size, or big for your blue fella up there? Fella? I grin no, at not this. Feller. Not fella. This is our pet. I did pan the face and look at it. It sort of looks over at Gate for a minute, sort of regarding the size of this hulking great pile of fur and robot bits. And just sort of looks back at the forge. And you sort of see him doing like some mental arithmetic in his head. Yeah, yeah, I reckon I can do something like that. Ain't gonna be cheap, but I can do something like that. Uh, well, that's a good question. Um, let me think what? on it for a little bit. Um, I reckon five gold do you just fine. We're talking big, right? We're talking like proper big. I reckon five gold are just about cover it. It's going to take a lot of iron. Gee That'll do me just fine. Right, I'll get, I'll get right on it. He says, sort of striding on over to the forge. Uh, what's your passive perception, all of you? Uh, uh it's that's plus four. Mine's twelve as well. Mine's 12, four. <laughs> 12, 12, 4, okay. Well, I mean, it's probably going to be less because I'm holding you f with one arm on my shoulder. Less than four? <laughs> you're so cruel. <laughs> and Rosa? And 11. 11. Okay, so, so Yako, he's small. He big. He look heavy. Mm. Uh, Doriel... Um, Gate and Zaraka, uh, you sort uh, you sort of notice that um, one of his arms and one of his legs sort of stomps a bit harder than the other. And you sort of see bits of plate metal on it, and you sort of manage to put two and two together and realize that at least some of it is prosthetic. Hmm. Yeah, prosthetics are fun. Oh, darling. Okay, you, just so like to, you just like to play shit. with your axe. Hmm. Ah, see, Gates is checking something. Aye, aye. So, yeah, the dwarf sort of um, walks over to uh, this pile of uh, bits of metal, picks up a couple of bars of iron, and throws them into the forge. And he sort of turns to the, to, um, the rest of you. Are y'all with, with this one? He says, sort of tilting his head towards Doriel. Just give a nod. Possible. You don't talk much, do you? It's, it's possible. I'll just say it's possible. Possible. Are you also after a big ass axe? Well, no, it's not, a little it's more not something. Sensible. Uh, not something too huge. Something that you can conceal. Maybe like a knife or a dagger hitting inside boots. Knife or dagger in your boots? Yes. When you say in your boots, do you mean like tucking it in, in the, the side, or do you mean like it pokes out the front? Pokes at the front, so we're gonna kick people in the balls. They uh, they can actually scream in horror. I put a concerned face and slowly turns. Okay, I need to ask you: Can you please put name tags on the characters we know of? Because I can't remember everyone's name for shit. <laughs> well, they've all they've all got name tags. You have to same. Oh shit! Really? Really? Yeah. For fuck's sake. We can't sake. see our own names. Oh. That's kind of cringe. Um, hang yeah, on. I'm doing mental gymnastics over here trying to remember the names of the characters. 
Right, sorry, I thought it showed everyone. Okay, I don't know how to change that. Hang on, hang on. I'm going to quickly uh, change some of the Discord names to actually be character names. It's going to be easier that way, all right? Yeah. So, Triple on Chandra, I'm sorry to say you are now Zoraka. Oh. Okay, thank you. I'm going to... Hey, Cho, Party Mom, you are now Doriel. What's his what's surname? Doriel Rana. Doriel ran away, more like. Hey. Mm. <laughs> nope. Hey, now I can actually, now I can actually see it. I'm going to have a concerned look on my face and slowly turn to Zaraka. Why? Why? Why not? Nope. With my go. free hand, I just kind of turn back to the dwarf. Well, I, hmm, I suppose I can do that. That ain't outside the realms of possibility. Just uh, don't mention where you got it from. I'm sure I can whip something up for you. Yay! That'll be, let's say, for the inconvenience and the weirdness and the fact I gotta break out my leather punches. About three gold. Also, if this um, Yankee accent ends up just being way too fucking annoying, please let me know and I will change it. That sounds good. <laughs> oh. Nah, it's good. Go. Just remember that last time it was Scottish and it was just, I don't know. That felt a bit it too obvious. Too uh, easily is, seducible. Is this the best dagger that you can put in them? It'll do the job. Which, are they comfortable? Well, I mean, it'll take a little bit of time to break them in. Leather ain't the easiest thing, but yeah, it should be fine. Just, okay. you know, don't, don't walk too far on them for a couple of days and you'll be right as rain. Okay, thing is a deal. I can coat the blade with poison if I wanted to, so it's okay. Don't have to add anything to it. Say, so, am I do able to... Afterwards, that ain't my problem. Say, am I able to equip stuff to my tail? Hmm. Like a if, mount, mounted gun or if so, I have a couple of ideals. Uh, equip stuff to your tail. Um. Yes, but it will. Um, but it will only cha change them like a um plus one to damage or that sort of thing. Ah. Just because okay. like, your tail swipe is already like 1d6 or 1d8 or something. So it 1D8. would make sense that you can upgrade that by buying like weapons to strap to it. But, uh, but like, d depending on how late in the game we get, I don't want you to just be able to use random swords that you can find as your tail. <laughs> you know, because some of them are going to get fucking dumb. <laughs> would that be fair? Okay, that'd be fair. So oh. my next question is, and this is directed towards the dwarf. Actually, no. Directed at you. Okay. Swords. Yes. What sizes are available? What do you mean, what sizes are available? Well, like, for my character size, a normal one-handed sword would be, like, a toothpick. <laughs> oh, wait, I have... Hold up. Well, I, I forgot. That... I have freaking... Cool. I have freaking, uh... Blades in my fucking wrist. I need something well, else. Um, well, what I was gonna say is that, um, like your character may be looming over everyone else, but they are still considered medium size. So, going by, um, uh, going by mechanics, it would work fine. Going by law, yeah, go on.
something like that yeah oh um i hope not <laughs> well that's what i'm trying to figure out is i never figured out the weapon yeah, like the primary weapon or if I should go like short and shield, mace and shield, axe and shield, two axes, two maces. I don't. I'm sorry. Can someone? Can someone? Uh... Disregard can someone... that. I was. I was doing something. You concern me with your rolls for darts. <laughs> Actually, like, um, okay, once the door sort of realizes that Yako is very much sort of secured and willing, so not jumping out, he sort of approaches Yugate and sort of starts looking around at the mechanical bits. Hell, oh, you're a good old piece of work, ain't you? Who built you then? Well, built who, who built or changed you? Oh. I was. What? What is the Kobolds' homeland called? Um, you tell me. I, what? From the north, like from somewhere up north, you get you give it the name you want, and I will add it to the map. Oh, shit! If you'd rather be somewhere else, you can just sort of like give a vague idea and we'll figure out the details later. You know what? I'm going to steal a name from the game I've been playing. Roz knows it. Or probably doesn't know it. Crevasse. Crevasse. So you're calling the place that the kobolds are from Crevasse. Hey, if you're from Crevasse, does that there we go. Let's, let's go with... Then Ratem then. Yeah, I'll accept that. Sure, sure. Okay, it's more desert, please. So it kind of fits with kobolds. Sure, yeah, works for me. Okay, so, sorry, can you repeat the name, please? Uh, Ratim. Ratim. Okay. Cool, okay. okay. Ratim. Okay. Got it. Okay, got it written down now, you're good. Alright, let me try to do this on the fly. <laughs> I'm from the far north place called Tim. I've been made by Tech correct me if I'm wrong, DM. It will do. A tech romancer Cobol. What in the hoot now is a tech romancer? Mm. Mance the tech? They specializes in. Bounce he, the check. He specializes in making war forges, which I am one of. All oh, right, use one of them. Right. So you're from Retim, are you? Ain't heard the place myself, but mm, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll ask her um, I'll ask her bookworm to. Tell me where that is. Maybe I'll remember it then. I ain't good with place names. I barely even remember where this place is called most days. Lance well, the one, yes. Bit of a, bit of a queer fella he is. Bit of a queer fella he is. He's a bit, um... Got a couple screw looses, I think. Couple? He's, he's, he's crazy. Not anymore. He's, he's... It's not I didn't my favorite, very attractive book. Oh, you probably just dog eared a couple pages on his books or just like held them wrong or something. He gets set off easy, like. He do not tend to like most people around here, he tends to stick to his and his own. I think last time I saw him was uh, 
couple months ago, we got these uh, new fang of purple crystals from uh, from this new shop that came up this year, Magic Shoppy, as they call it. Yeah, I ain't got need for them. I got the forge. I got torches. I don't need none of that fancy hoot nanny. Yeah, we don't do none of that here. We just do good old iron and steel. Oh, I do have a question for you. For male character. Oh, <laughs> I guess a little bit of both. Okay. I have a hard time deciding on the type of weapon to ask for or ask to be made. I want to see what the dwarf would come up with by looking at me. A dwarf sort of um, uh, sort of strokes his beard with the sort of more metallic hand, and you can sort of hear the scrape of me of like a wire brush, but sort of scraping against metal. Well, hmm. well, looks like you got them bits dug into your arms, like um, they do with a bit of what's the word, zhuzhing up, I guess. I have a. I'm just gonna say this right now. I'm gonna have a big old crush mark appear on my visor. Fair enough. <laughs> okay, right. Bit slow, got it. Right, um, so the things on your arms, them sharp bits, what you use to stick them. I'm just gonna lift up my free hand and deploy my blade. Nice. I mean, these. Yeah, they ain't the one. They ain't, they ain't things like they could do with a little judging up. Hmm. A horrible, wicked ideal just formed on my head. Or formed in my head. With, uh... Fuck, was it? Yako? Is that the name? Yes. I'm not sure you can weaponize Yako. No, oh, no, 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 no. I would no. be excited to oh, be no, a no, weapon. No, no, no. Yako, Wacko, and Dot. I'm looking at my blade. Then I'm looking at Yako. This is needed. And I touch the flat end of my blade directly on Yako's rear. Wow. Why on his butt? Do you, you just spank the, the fox boy? With a blade that does freezing. I yipe very loudly. Because that's cold. Um, and I'm a delicate little thing. Yako, yeah, roll constitution. Okay, one second. Uh, oh, I've got 16 base plus 3 modifier. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, R... Uh, because if this works, I'm going to have a witty oh. remark. Plus 12. Oh, well, 12 plus 3, so 15. Okay, yeah. you don't take any damage from it, you just feel a sudden icy chill on your rear. <laughs> I say very dramatically, <laughs> and I wiggle trying to get out. I tighten my grip. Will you behave? Oh my. That sounds kind of sinister, but I'm here for it. <laughs> do I I'm just no. going to wind up my entire arm and then slam the flat end directly into the rear again I uh I, I, I'm, sla I'm slapping Yako's butt with the blunt side or the flat side of my what did blade. I do what did quick I do thing. to deserve this quick thing quick uh, thing Cherry you okay with this yes, yes. okay carry on yeah, no, um, every time it's, uh, I get hit, I respond with increasingly louder yipe. Like, I, yeah. is, is there ice forming? That's, that's my question, is ice forming where I'm hitting? Um, the, 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 there's a little bit of a frost forming on his buttocks, yes. I, uh... Doriel, right. get me out of here. I, I'm yiping. Get me out of here. I'm a good boy. I don't deserve this. <laughs> from what I've witnessed from the library to here... <laughs> Am I still on the 
shoulder? Yes, I never let you down. <laughs> Since when? Because the uh, Yucca was playing with the bellows. I picked them up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Never gonna pick Anywho. you up. Never gonna let you down. Anyway. So, upgrades, right? That's what I said. He, he, are you quite done hitting your friend there? <laughs> if they behave. Maybe I want I a weapon do. too, you guys. Quit smacking so, me. How much would this cost if I helped? Uh, well, you still look up and down for a second. Well, I don't like much taking help. Like, I think I'm pretty capable. I think I got it. About three gold will do you. Sounds fair. And, you mind uh, if I pay? Do I, do I pay you now or after? Cash up front's always nice. All right, I pass him three gold. Go eat these old pockets, it thanking you kindly. And the you fox boy. I retract you, my blade. You after anything, or are you quite happy sitting up there getting your ass beat? Well, I'd love uh, the sweet release of freedom, but if that isn't the case, I would love um, to see what you got for daggers. We got a few bits. We got a few bits. Might have some to help warm up your rear. Well, I actually currently already have two right here. Is there any kind of upgrades you could do to them? Yeah, upgrades to your little. So little stabby things, eh? Probably, yeah. I can do that. Yeah. Here, uh, I uh, pull them from a uh, a side buckle pouch, and I uh, do my best to pass them to him, but they clatter on the floor because I'm on someone's shoulder, uh, getting smacked. Smack right out the door. Yeah. All right. Let me remove these from my inventory. Right. Here we go. Right. Blue, could you just? Put him down for a minute. I'm sure he'll behave himself. I promise. I won't play with the bellows anymore. You gonna keep your hands to yourself? Hey, that's fresh coming from you, but yes. <laughs> Don't touch anything around here. Keep them to yourself. Break that promise. I will pick you up, and you won't be put back down until we back back to the taverns. Hey, if you pick me up again, hey, you two just... quit treating me like I'm a kid, and that sounds great. It's like good, bad <laughs> cop. That's what I'm gonna do. Are you gonna fuck around I'm... with the bellows? No, I'm, I'm gonna. gonna... Fuck around with the <laughs> oh wait, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna use sleight of hand to slap um, Gates ass. You're on ten, did you? Yep. Okay, uh, Gate, what's your passive perception? Twelve. Twelve. Okay, you feel some smack your butt. Can I hit them with my tail? Mm, roll to hit. What do I roll? You roll a d20. With modifiers or without? Yeah. Strength. Right. Okay. So, um, so it, I guess there's a reflex in response to getting your butt slapped. Your um, tail sort of swings around and Rosa's um, knocked back a little bit. Could I use acrobatics? Sure. Roll acrobatics. See if you can dodge it. Okay, and if I can dodge it, I'm going to pretty much do a uh, a back uh, flip and use my leg to kick him in the jaw. What jaw? It's a visor. It's my visor my jaw. jaw's inside of the visor. It's a protective shell around my face. Right. Okay. I shown you the video. Right. Okay, okay, okay. Right, before this gets Chill. too out of hand, like the acrobatics, you avoid the tail swing before you go back up to kick him, sort of 
dwarf sort of tries to step between you two. Right, can you two just chill for just a minute? He says, so put, putting, he says, so like just putting both arms out and uh, a gate, uh, sort of you can see on the robot arm that's sort of held out before you, you can see like little, um, little columns of smoke coming out of like the ports in his shoulder, sort of like it's winding up to do something. Can we just stop all of this for like five minutes? Wait, how did Yako get out of my arm? Safe distance from behind this anvil. What a smart plan. If there's any refuse, it won't hit us. It's like a shield. Doriel, you are a verified genius. Wait a no minute. No wonder you cook when did, sweets. When did Yako get out of my arm? Oh. I thought you put him, <laughs> I thought you put him down. No, yeah. I never put them down. I promise to be good. Although, wait, oh. I still got pushed by Doriel. Okay. When you put me down, Doriel, we can push me. Okay, right, right. The dwarf sort of turns towards Gate. And you can put him down now. Look at him. Look at Yaku. Look at him. I shrug. Then I put them down. I skitter behind the anvil with Doriel. <laughs> Right, Dwarf sort of sighs a sigh of relief, and you can see, like, like kind of sort of hot breath like out the forge, sort of just emanating from his mouth for a second. And you can see the sort of smoke coming out of his shoulder subside. Mm. It's much better. Smacking the frost off my ass as we speak. <laughs> I cross bombs and look at Zorka. So oh, Cal, Zoraka? Zoraka, there we go. I'm horrible with names. Give me a break. You chill, we're getting there, we're getting there. <laughs> right then. Right, this will take a little bit of time for me to get built. So, if y'all are, so if y'all are looking for something to do, well, I don't like them, but you can always check that there magic shoppy next door. And if you're after someone to give you a little bit more protection, yeah, I got a buddy inside. I'll sort you out just fine. I do have to ask, has anyone shown any odd effects being around these purple crystals that you could tell? I wouldn't know. I ain't been near. What about your friend inside? Yeah, he don't get, he don't tend to get affected by much of that. Hmm. I look towards the door. Uh, as you All look right. towards the door, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, there we go. That's what his name is. Uh, you see, sort of, um, sort of a figure step out, uh, sort of into the courtyards, and just sort of look, look at the dwarf, and then look at the people around. Is there a problem? I do have a question to ask you, sir. Have you seen anything? Odd happening to anyone being around these crystals, either at a glance or from a distance. Uh, the figure sort of takes a step forward, and you can sort of hear the clanking and whirring of sort of a baseline war forged. You sort of hear sort of what sounds like ticking inside it for a sec, and then a little bell, and then it utters out. Nur -nur -nur. I'm sorry, what did you say? Your Nugatuf. microphone cut. Negative. Negative. Oh, negative. Thank you. Sorry, right. The voice doesn't work. Got it. Negative. Hmm. Have you... Oh, well. Hmm. While you're thinking about what to say, uh, the wolf watch sort of, um... Uh, turns towards the dwarf. Was I summoned? And the dwarf sort of turns back. Uh, 
no, no, Gears, you go back in there and keep tinkering on that air armor. Ballas. And yeah, while, while you're doing that, he just sort of totters off back to wherever he was. All right. Well, I guess we leave you to your thing. Uh, about Sorry? when should we when should we be back? Yeah, well, estimation. Well, if you come back tomorrow, first thing should have everything ready for you. All right then. Sure. From oh. the sounds of it, sounds like you're going to be doing some adventuring. So, uh, I mean, time's pretty well. Time is pretty good, I'd say. Well, no, I'm always willing to help if you need it. Yeah, much also, obliged, but I think I got it. Also, which way is the shop? Uh, well. Uh, he says, sort of um, stepping out sort of near the courtyard, and then just sort of pointing one robotic hand uh, to the uh, to the right. Well, it's just well, it's just down that road a little bit. Literally the next sh the next um, building over. Can't miss it. All right. If you do, I'll be surprised. Y'all coming? I guess he just sort of plodding along with the books of held in front of your face, like, ooh, book. <laughs> yeah. So we're all going to the magic shop. Actually, I think what's going on now is we're going to need to stop because it's three in the morning and I'm keeping Alice awake and I don't think she is pleased with me about that. Alright. So, right, that'll... So yeah, so, was this alright as a session? Like, yeah, very sort of stop and start, but... Oh, we managed to piss off the librarian. Managed to piss off the he librarian? Managed... He managed to piss off the <laughs> door for a bit. Yeah, My poor ass. We got a Yakko, and Why? I got to test out the frostiness of my blades. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, Cherry, do you want to know why they're laughing about the whole ring situation? Please do tell. Okay. Guess, uh, where, I put, guess where I put my ring? Is, is it on... Is it in in an inappropriate place? You can say that. There's more yeah. than one type of ring. Mm. Yep. So okay. So this session we've had um, restraint, spanking, cock rings. <laughs> so I mean, I'm excited for next session. Hopefully, we're gonna get a full S and M dungeon going on. Mm. And whenever we can actually get to the dungeon. One month later. Definitely yeah, one month out. later, and we finally has have another session. So what's the right. next one? The next one will be in six days' time. That's so far away. I'm going to, mm -hmm. to get word on my schedule in here in the next couple of days to see what time I get off on those days. <laughs> okay. Get off. Because my schedule's been slowly changing week by week. Right, so you need to get it a bit more sort of dead set, yes? Yeah. Because, okay. like, for the next few days, I'm getting off at 7 each day. Oof. While in the past it's been 6, sometimes it's 9. It depends. Right. So you need to sort of talk to whoever's in charge of that and get them to give you something a bit more concrete and dead set. Well... He would like to keep it set the same, but corporate kind of has his arm. Ooh. So if corporate wants it, he has to change my schedule. Have you considered telling corporate to go fuck themselves? And they will say you can find work elsewhere. Mm. This is at it's a at will work state. 
Right. Okay. Yay. Yeah. 